This video focuses on treating an elephant injured by a trap gun. Due to the prevailing drought and famine, elephants have been venturing into rural areas for food. As they traverse these areas, they unintentionally destroy the cultivated lands of the villagers. Consequently, the villagers face numerous challenges in safeguarding their crops. The veterinary team promptly proceeds to administer sedation to the elephant in order to initiate the treatment process. Taking the elephant's body weight into consideration, they carefully administer a sedative drug using a tranquilizer gun. Once the sedative takes effect, the majestic creature gently collapses onto the ground. Without delay, the team meticulously examines the elephant's trunk, ensuring that the airway remains unobstructed. To facilitate the treatment, they clear away the surrounding branches, creating a conducive environment for the procedure to take place. Upon closer examination of the wound, a protruding mass of flesh becomes apparent, resulting from the injury inflicted by the trap gun. It is important to note that elephants are not the sole perpetrators of such destruction. Other animals like wild boars, peacocks, and porcupines also contribute to the devastation of the villagers' vegetation. Among these animals, wild boars particularly pose a significant threat to cultivation. In an attempt to protect their crops from wild boars, villagers resort to using illegal weapons such as trap guns inadvertently leading to unfortunate incidents where elephants also fall victim to these traps. A trap gun is a device employed by villagers to protect their cultivated lands from wildlife, particularly animals such as wild boars. It is designed to trigger a mechanism that shoots projectiles when an animal comes into contact with it. The trap gun is strategically placed in areas vulnerable to animal intrusion, often near agricultural fields or gardens. While its primary purpose is to deter and prevent wildlife from causing damage to crops, there is a risk that unintended victims, such as elephants, may also get caught in these traps. The use of trap guns represents a challenging dilemma as villagers seek to strike a balance between protecting their livelihoods and minimizing harm to wildlife in their environment. Despite the damage that animals may inflict on vegetation, people demonstrate a strong sense of empathy when an animal is injured. When the villagers discovered the injured elephant, they promptly notified the forest officials. In response, a veterinarian and their team quickly arrived at the site and made the decision to provide immediate treatment to the elephant. The wound currently shows mild signs of infection, and if left untreated, it could potentially escalate and pose a life-threatening risk to the elephant. The veterinary team commences treatment by administering antibiotics, multivitamins, and, if necessary, based on the elephant's body weight, ivermectin. I 
थोड़ा क्रीम गिरा दिया सुबह मिट्टी के दिन बाद वाले सुधर करने बेहती हैं बतर लाइन करने वाली का और वो हमारी तो वाले बेहती हैं बतर लाइन करने वाले Once this medication administration is complete, they proceed to cleanse the wound meticulously using saline. They carefully disinfect the affected area, ensuring thorough sanitation. Subsequently, a mixture of betadine negazant powder is applied, followed by the gentle application of an antibiotic spray, providing an additional layer of protection to the wound. The treatment of this elephant will continue until its wound fully heals. We will keep you updated with future videos showcasing the progress of the elephant's recovery. Given the circumstances, the veterinarian and the team make the decision not to remove the hanging mass from the elephant's wound. Removing it would require a surgical procedure that cannot be performed on site. Considering that the elephant is a wild animal and not domesticated, it is impractical to transport it to a facility where such a surgery could be conducted. Therefore, their focus shifts towards providing comprehensive care to ensure the elephant's survival and aid in its recovery to the best of their abilities. Following the completion of the treatment, the veterinary team administers a revival drug through the elephant's ear vein. Within a span of 15 to 20 minutes, the effects of the drug take hold, gradually awakening the elephant from its sedated state. Once fully conscious, the elephant will regain its strength and readiness to return to its natural habitat in the wild. The dedication of forest officials in caring for wild animals is truly remarkable. These individuals exemplify unwavering commitment to the well-being and conservation of wildlife. They tirelessly work to protect and rescue animals in distress, responding promptly to calls for help. Forest officials also play a vital role in educating communities about the importance of coexistence and sustainable practices to minimize human-wildlife conflicts. Their proactive measures, such as patrolling protected areas and monitoring wildlife populations, contribute to the overall conservation efforts. Their passion for wildlife preservation is evident in their tireless efforts to raise awareness and inspire others to appreciate and protect our diverse natural heritage. The dedication of forest officials serves as an inspiration, highlighting the crucial role they play in safeguarding wild animals and maintaining the delicate balance of our ecosystems.